In the last part, you ask about showing the materials and the texturing tutorial. So, in this part, we are going to talk about this. But before that, look at this beautiful artwork from Blight Aja from Twitter. Thank you so much for sharing your awesome work with us. This is fantastic. I'm so curious about how you come up with our other tutorials and I would love to see your own version and you guys if you created your own version please send us your finished 3d renders and we will feature your work in our next video you can mention us through social medias we are on instagram twitter facebook actually anywhere i will put the link of our social medias in the description also you can send your work to us via email to pixelways at gmail.com we would love to see your own version and we will feature your work in our next video awesome guys thank you light aja and keep up the great work so now let's jump into blender the first thing we are going to do is applying the modifier so i'm going to select all by pressing a and go to object convert and mesh so this way we are going to apply all the modifiers at once the first part is this hand well so i'm going to press forward slash to isolate this and go to edit mode and edge mode and i'm going to select this edge and these edge loops right click in mark seam also we can go here and right click here at the mark seam and add to quick favorite so this way if i press q on my keyboard we have mark seam at our quick favorites so we don't need to right click again so if you want to add anything for example if i want to add the uh, normal orientation if i go to uh, face orientation and right click here i can add this to quick favorite as well so now if i press q i have mark seam and i have face orientation like this so now we are going to go down here and select these edges like so and q mark seam and also here let's see around these part so i'm going to select all of this hold shift and alt to select them all and q mark scene like so and also we need to select edges around here so i'm going to select this and actually all of this and again q mark seam all right and also the edges around this it's going to be a little tricky so i'm going to hold alt and click here and let's see if i deselect this it's going to be easier i think and then q mark seam all right also here and holding q to deselect like so and q mark scene all right i'm going to do the same thing to the other side Also, we need to add another seam here and also another one, the vertical selection through here. And I think we are done for this handrail. Also, we need to add another one here as well. And here, oh, I miss another one here. Let's check. Oh, we missed all of this uh we need to do this for each part right also this one okay 
And let's see. Um, now I think we are done, right? We can check this by going to material, add a new material. Under the base color, we can add a image texture. New and generated type, I'm going to add UV grid, maybe 4000 and hit OK. Go to material preview. And also we need to select all U and unwrap. And yeah, so also you can go to UV editing and select all and this is your islands. Here we have a problem. If you want to check this into your model, you can select this and then select this edge. Go here and press period on your numpad. And as you can see here, we missed an edge. And so I'm going to select this Q and mark same. All right, I'm going to select all again and U and R. So let's continue. I'm going to go back to my layout and I'm pressing the forward slash to go back from the isolate mode and don't forget to save. All right, next let's go for this pipe. So I'm going to isolate this and go to edit mode and I'm going to select these edges around here and go to mark seam and also I'm going to select this edge let's see let's go closer we select this one and go here and hold control and click and also here hold control and click and mark this as seam also here in here hold shift and alt click here and mark seam and also we need to do another one here right i'm going to do the same thing to the other side another seam here here and here and here and also in connection from this to this let's see here i think we have a problem into our modeling let's check this out I press oh yes we have a problem here let's see doesn't appear here so here we have a problem I'm going to select these vertices and press M and by distance. And I'm going to increase the number. Let's see. All right. Let's go closer. And here it's okay. Also, these two we can merge this. And let's put this around here. Yeah, I think now it's it's good. All right, let's continue. I'm going to add a seam from here to up here. Let's go up. I'm holding control and click. For example, here. Also another one here. Let's see. I go from here to. Let's see where we can go. All right. Also, mark seam. And also, we need to add seams also for here to the top i'm going to continue this go from here to here mark seam all right 
now if i select all and you and unwrap and link the material from that one Control l and link material as you can see here we have the unwrapped model here as well now let's go for this part i'm going to isolate this go to edit mode and i'm going to select these edge and mark seam and also here here and also mark seam another one and also we need to go up so i'm going to select this one and go here hold control and click here another one right here deselect this one and i'm going to mark scene as well and also another one from here to here let's select all and you unwrap let's go back and select this and this one Control l and link material so here we go the next one is this cylinder here go to isolate mode and i'm going to select here and here and i'm going to hold alt and control and and hold on control and click here and these select these edges and mark seam and select all you and unwrap go back and link the material Control l and link material so here as you can see we let's go back let's see why this is stretched let's unwrap again and here we go let's go back and select these two little guys here isolate these and i'm going to select these edge loops up and down and mark seam also another one from here so here i'm going to holding control and also another one here and going down hold control click and go down hold control click mark seam let's go here and period on your numpad and select these as well and mark seam so select select this one go to edit mode select all and you unwrap let's go back from isolate mode and select these two and one of these like this one control l and link material so we did all these seams so now after doing the seams we need to pack our eye lines also as you can see we have different textile density here we have uh, more dense textile density here and less here and all is different to each part so let's go for uv editing here and i'm going to select all of these objects and edit mode and select all and then i'm going to do the unwrap again so you and unwrap and as you can see again we have different textile density here so i'm going to use an add-on called texture density checker it's a free add-on i will put the link in the description so i'm going to select this part so i'm going to press l on my keyboard to select this one and then uh, going to click here calculate the td which is textile density so i'm going to select all and press set my td so it's going to put the all of the textile density to this number so I'm, i just want to make them even so now as you can see we have equal textile density for each part so now i'm going to select all by pressing a and go to uv and press pack island here we go and i'm going to export this and go to substance painter but before that we need to set material for each part so i'm going to select this one go to shading 
and I'm going to delete this and select this one. Um, make a this one. I'm making new material, and I'm going to uh, put the color for this. Doesn't matter. I'm going to name this pipe, and also this one. I create new material for this, and I'm going to call this and and well, right, and also also this too. I think. It's going to be the same material and this little cylinder here. I'm not sure about the name. I'm going to call this a uh, cylinder. Cylinder. All right. And also these two. I'm going to call this bolt. And also this one from this one. Same material so now we are ready to jump into the substance painter so i'm going to select all go to file export and fbx and i'm going to uh, check the selected object and hit export now we are in substance painter i'm, I'm using the version 8.3.1 and let's bring our file here so the fvx and hit okay here we go now we need to bake this top right here we have the baking we are going to put this on 4k and use low poly mesh as high poly mesh and anti-aliasing i'm going to put this on 4x and hit bake selected textures right the baking is done select this brush icon top right corner of the screen we are going to use mostly the default material in substance painter with a little adjustment into your assets panel smart materials and search for steel painted clear cut and drag and drop this into your handrail so now we need to do some adjustment this layer we don't need that so delete and open the folder and open this coating folder and select this layer which is under paint and we need to change the color so right click here and change the color to something red like so and then we need to go for coating and select the mask and select this generator metal edger right click and also like that right click and we need to decrease this and a little increasing the contrast also right here under the texture set setting you can increase the size of your uh texture inside your viewport so it's gonna take some time for loading but here you can see your actually almost a final result so i think it's okay also i'm going for the dust and i'm going to increase this to something around 90 maybe and select dirt and right click here and i'm going to adjust this so as you can see it's going to take time to load so i'm going to put this on 2k all right and i'm going to increasing the level like so and maybe a little less contrast so the next part is about this pipe i'm going to search for still dark aged and i'm going to drag this and drop to the pipe all right let's go closer and i'm going to open this folder don't need this layer delete this so under this folder we have the finish rough 
right click here and I'm going to increasing the brushing intensity something around here and also I'm going to select the metal and go down under the basic parameters I'm going to increasing the luminosity to something around here and contrast I'm going to increasing the contrast like this and also hue shift a little and I'm going to increasing the saturation and I think something around here is okay something like this nice and for the rest I'm going to use the gold damage and I this here and also here and I'm not going to change anything for this part all right also here you can see your layers so for the pipe you can change this a little I'm going to decrease the contrast maybe a little increasing the luminosity you can change anything and as you want change the color and anything all right so now we need to export this bring the textures into the blender so to export this we need to go to file and export textures all right in this uh, version of substance painter we have the uh, template for blender so if you go down here you have the blender principle bsdf but in the previous version we didn't have that and in previous videos we have done together how to create the template for a blender so don't forget to check that and see how you can create the template for the blender so here i'm going to select the blender principle bsdf and i'm going to put the file type to targa and i'm going to put this on 4k and also i'm going to select the export folder and then press export all right now we need to go to the blender let's go back to blender and to load our textures we need to turn on the add-on called node wrangler be sure to check this add-on and then go to shading and select your hand well and select your principal bsdf and then press ctrl shift t on your keyboard and go to your folder and you need to select your textures hand well these textures and then import this and here is your texture select this one select the principal bsdf ctrl shift and t then go to pipe and select these pipe textures and import them here we go easy right and then select this cylinder and ctrl shift t cylinder select these and import and also this bolt ctrl shift t and the bolt here and it's going to load so now we need to set up our scene so i'm going to put this up here All right let's go closer and put this here and we need to add a plane and increasing the size like so and also we need to select this plane go to shading add the material and put the color to black and put the roughness to 0.3 all right like this next i'm going to add a camera and then hold ctrl shift and zero to make the frame and i'm going to put the camera focal length to 100 press in and go to view and select this one camera to view 
so you can change your uh, camera angle without going out of your camera like this and also we can go here and put this panel on 3d viewport and i'm going to select this valve and i'm going to make a copy okay and i'm going to rotate this 90 degrees negative and i'm going to rotate this to z-axis like so and then i'm going to put this down here maybe a little changing the angle like so and here we go also i have another setup which is this one i did this before i have a light here let's show you the setting for this light it doesn't have any complicated setting just a power on 1000 also another one here again 1000 and another light here area light which is a little uh, bigger on 500 and i put this here behind this and one here behind for this uh rim light kind of rim light and also this one from the front so here as you can see this is my light setup so let's bring this closer from the right and this is a kind of rim light we can say that but a little rim light from here and also this one from above and also i have another light which is the sun so to reach this you need to go to your shading and under here you need to put this on world and i add the sky textures which after this as you can see the difference let's put this one on world so this is with the sky and this is without the sky so this is the setting for the sky sun size on 90 uh, degrees and sun intensity to one and the elevation to 0.5 and the rotation to 228 so this is basically the setup for this uh render also you can download the project file from our gumroad page it's free and it's include the blender file with all the textures packed into the blender so you don't need to worry about loading the textures and also the substance painter file and also the fbx file i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one